when Terry and I met in November of 1985, he already had some night blindness and he didn't tell me how bad it was. And we got engaged a few months later and he just kept getting, seemed to be getting worse. And so my mom had him come to our eye doctor and she said, you know, there's something else wrong. And so he had a bunch of tests done in near Santa Ana where we lived. And it was right before we got married and when we got home for our honeymoon, we got the diagnosis that he had retinitis pigmentosa. When I first found out I was going blind, I told Sue, I said, look, if you just want to end this, you know, we can do that. I didn't want to, but I said, if you, you don't want to be married to somebody that's going to go blind very shortly, just say so. And her answer was no. She says, for better or for worse, I'm here for you and I'll do all I can. And so here we are 30 years later and we're still together. The Argus implant was actually, before he went, it was called Argus, it was conceived way back in 1987. My grandmother started to go blind from complications of diabetes and it made me start to think about what could be done for patients who are, who are blind or who are going blind. And it gave us this idea of being able to use a computer chip and implant it in the eye to help restore sight to the blind. The device works as such, the camera here sends the information to this video processing unit and both power and data are then sent back up to this coil which sends it into the implant. And so effectively a blind person is wirelessly hooked up to this camera and the glasses. In the beginning when I first got the Argus One, Dr. Umayan uh, told me this is what you kind of expect to see right off the bat. In other words, little single lights, rays of light for every time they turn on the electrode. But I thought, no, wait a minute. I'm not in total darkness. I'm seeing a little pinpoint of light. And I thought, in a way, that's pretty cool. And they had me walking up and down this hallway, either with or without the cane, and scanning back and forth. And the walls were white, the floor was white, but the doors and the sideboards were dark brown. And when I looked, I could see a vertical line here, a line there. And I thought, wow, look at this. I could actually go down the middle of this thing without my cane and not walk into anything because I knew I was in the middle. And I just kind of hung my head and I just about totally lost it because I didn't have to have somebody's shoulder or anything else. It was me, the cane, and that fantastic technology at the time. And now I've got the second ship which allows me to be mobile, more independent, allows me to see more with the device. It gives me a, more self-esteem, more awareness in, in, in different things in my life than I'd had in a long time. It's really given me a big boost uh, because I want to be as independent as I can be. Well, Terry uh, is an amazing patient. In fact, he's more than a patient. He's really part of our research team. Uh, when the Argus One was implanted, where it was being implanted, he was the first to, to raise his hand and wanting to partake, even though he knew that it might never help him. He's always had this real altruistic outlook of wanting to help others and really helped us understand uh, the Argus One and the development into Argus Two. He now is really the only patient uh, to have both implants, one in each eye. I never ever thought as a blind man that I would have anything to really feel good about other than my family. Well, this here has made all the difference in the world.